Hey Cancer, welcome to your reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, so let's hop right into it here, Cancer. Let's see what is coming to you in love. Anything being said here could be interchangeable or vice versa, okay? All right, what is coming to Cancer in love? What is coming to Cancer in love, please? Cancer. Cancer, you have transformation. You also have regrets. Cancer in love. What is coming? Cancer. Cancer, you have sacred connection. You also have forgiveness and healing. Bottom of the deck, we do have marriage. So this situation could be involving a marriage, okay? What is coming to Cancer in love? Let me get nine cards. What's coming to Cancer in love? So you could definitely be dealing with a water sign. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio such as yourself, okay, um, Knight of Cups, so someone's definitely going to be making some kind of gesture here, romantic gesture, uh, this could be a new person for some of you with this Knight, uh, sorry, with this Page of Cups here, so maybe you have a new person expressing some kind of romantic interest in you, um, and maybe it might kind of, you might be a little wounded and weary from your past relationships, so, is you know it may not be something that you take too easily right uh this could be a gemini as well remember anything being said here can be switched around so if it's not something that you're feeling it could be the person okay in question what is coming to cancer in love you have the emperor could that could be a husband okay or a wife okay Someone, you know, you're married to, things like that. What's coming to Cancer in love? I like to, you know, interpret the reading from different perspectives. That way it can help as much people as possible because we're not all going through the same exact scenario. Uh, we There are different variations to the story. What's coming to Cancer in love? One more card. So this could also be an Aries Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Coins and the Two of Cups. So someone definitely wants to hold on to you, Cancer, for those of you already in an existing connection. Uh, you have an existing history with this person. Somebody wants to hold on to the other person here. Now, there may need to be some kind of accountability. Somebody needing to step up as the emperor would and, you know, be accountable for maybe their actions in the past or to be uh, more responsible, more reliable and stuff like that. Okay, if that's the case, I do see this person has made that proper change and transformation here. Okay, so they may be wanting to communicate that they have, you know, went through some kind of change and transformation and that they would be um, wanting some kind of new start, fresh start with you, new beginning. I'm also hearing some of you, there could be a pregnancy. Okay, um, so maybe this person wasn't so uh taking to that very well you know maybe they were a little afraid of it or something like that but they could have had a recent change and you know there's their mind and stuff like that and maybe they do want to step up and take care of their children and stuff like that yeah there's an energy of stepping up here and maybe their an apology will need to be given here so if that's the case an apology will be given here um i'm mean, getting this person could definitely show up with like flowers you know just do something really romantic to try to get you back into their life cancer um for sure if the communication needed to be better i do see someone making those changes okay so some of you could be coming out of a separation with someone in particular now for those of you if this is a new connection as i said in the beginning you know uh you may not take someone may not take to it very well initially because the nine of wands is a wounded warrior you know they he, he's been through a lot so he's kind of on the fence, worried, uh, and he definitely has his defenses and guard up. So um, that may be something that you experience in this new connection. However, I feel like um, that is going to change, okay? Um, someone may not be good with expressing feelings and emotions and being vulnerable and stuff like that. But little by little, I see these changes happening here. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is a card of change, which is... Um, uh, tops this reading off nicely okay so let's clarify this page of cups for cancer please knight of coins 
pro someone probably wants forgiveness here. Okay. If you know, this person wasn't, um, they, maybe they, whatever they did in the past, right. They want forgiveness for that. They want to walk in a straight line now. Um, nine of swords. There is some guilt here, some worry for somebody. So what is the nine of wands for cancer and love? Tell me more about this nine of wands. The fool. Yeah, someone's afraid of taking a risk, a, a leap of faith on a new love, a new connection, possibly a new person. But I feel like if you do take a leap of faith on them, Cancer, there's really good potential with you and this person. Either way, you know, um, this could definitely be a divine counterpart, right? A twin flame connection. But either way, it does show you and this person may be, you know, this this could be your person, someone that you're meant to be with here. Um, especially with the lovers at the heart of spread and the will of fortune, you have the Wheel of Fortune again. So maybe you're afraid of taking a risk on a new person, a new, you know, a new situation. Okay. But I see that it will definitely pay off if you do. Ah, cancer. Knight of Cups, please. Seven of Swords. I do get this energy of... For those of you who that resonates of like the issues around the vulnerability with this person, I feel like they're going to try to be more open with their feelings to you, Cancer, as well. Okay. They're going to try to be more available, like uh, emotionally, I'm hearing. All right. Four of Swords reverse for Cancer. Wow. You and this person probably are definitely divine counterparts. The Empress. Or at least, you know, the Emperor and the Empress is like meant to be together type of energy. So... There could definitely be children involved. I'm getting that strongly. So someone may be ready for love, ready for a new beginning. Ace of Wands, Three of Wands. So maybe here someone needed to forgive and heal their own past in order to embrace a new connection. Wow, this is beautiful. You guys have a really good reading this week, Cancer. Yeah, there's definitely been a judgment here, some kind of final decision that someone has made. Um, and with judgment comes about changes, you know, um, perhaps, you know, making a final decision or letting go of kind of old patterns, old paradigms and just stuff like that um, to embrace a new connection and start fresh. OK, but someone's surely stepping up here. You have the sun and you have the tower. Um, somebody's stepping up. That's beautiful. Someone's surely, surely stepping up. This person's ready to step up. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Um, and it could just even be, like I said, stepping up emotionally, financially, mentally, spiritually, uh, any way that you feel it resonates, guys, for your situation. Because anytime I see the emperor, it's like that energy of someone, you know, getting into that emperor role, taking control, okay, making a change here. So tell me more for cancer in this love situation, what is coming? Yeah, justice could be a Libra. Someone could be also popping the question here for existing relationships. Okay, maybe your partner is becoming more emotionally, you know, um, in tune with you or something like that. Okay, making the proper changes. Maybe this is someone who's ready to uh, propose and step up. Okay, but I do see things getting way better here between you and this person. Wow. My goodness, Cancer, you guys have a really, really, really good reading. All kinds of major arcana is coming out. Um, and you have the Knight of Pentacles. Beautiful. 
queen of cups at the bottom of the deck you show up here so there will be commitment between you and this person there will be loyalty between you and this person um this freak is gonna walk in a straight line so like i said if this is someone you're giving a chance a new person this is the best risk that you'll take cancer this person really really has sincere intentions um now if this is someone that you already have a history with you're like, should I forgive this freak and take them back? Yeah, if you do forgive them, I do see that this could really turn around to be something that is extremely successful, committed, and balanced in every way, shape, and form, okay? So that is beautiful, Cancer. Let me get a little bit more information from these cards. It's coming to Cancer in this love situation. You have time apart, so maybe um, being apart from each other helped to bring some clarity here. You have spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. You have abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. You have your soul remembers this intense connection. A new love or recommitment to love is developing. Vulnerability. You can be completely open with this person. And marriage. This relationship is moving towards a sacred union. So, beautiful. I think you guys have... Hmm. You and Gemini and Aquarius have like the best reading of the week. The best one. All right. What does this person want to tell Cancer? So you have crying over you. You have the grass wasn't greener. This could be a Leo. They want to know if you're still mad at them. What else do we have for Cancer, please? This may be a Sagittarius. Yeah, if it's not you, it's me. You have Virgo. You have Aries. You have We Belong Together. You have someone who can't move on. Nostalgia. Dreaming of you. What else does this person want to say? Wine and dine. You have Let's Get Married. Okay, you have Aquarius and Twin Flames. Wow. Beautiful. And uh, missing you is driving me crazy. So, wow. I don't know what else to say, Cancer. I mean, <laughs> that is such a, a beautiful reading to have. Okay. Yeah, I definitely feel like there were some trials and tribulations with this person within this relationship or whatever the case may be. But I mean, I do see it smoothing out and getting better. And there is absolutely no need to, uh, you know, give up on this I'm hearing. Okay. All right, Cancer. That is what I have for my lovely Cancerians. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I hope that you guys got the clarity that you needed from this reading. Talk to you guys soon.